I like to think of stocks and shares as slices of cake. Firstly, because it helps to visualize the more abstract elements of investing. And secondly, because cake is awesome. Let's imagine then that this delicious Victoria sponge represents a whole company like Apple or Amazon. When this Victoria sponge decides it wants to expand its horizons and get better icing or more high-tech buttercream filling, it's going to need to raise some money. One way to do this is by selling off a few slices to some initial keen cake connoisseurs, who then become partial owners. With the extra money, the Victoria sponge can upgrade its recipe and the tastier the cake, the more people want to nab a slice, driving up demand and increasing the prices of the slices. Of course, you don't just find the slices of cake you want to invest in lying in the street. Instead, you head to a bakery where you can browse, buy and sell the baked goods that take your fancy. In this cake-topian context, the bakery represents the stock market, a digital and physical marketplace where you can buy and sell shares. The UK stock market is known as the London Stock Exchange, or LSE, but you can use a UK stockbroker to access exchanges abroad like the NASDAQ or Shanghai Stock Exchange. As a side note, you'll often hear the words stocks and shares being used interchangeably. Now, there is actually a slight distinction between these two terms, but for the context of getting started in investing, you can basically think of them as the same thing.